Chair recognizes President Williams. I'd like to thank Mark and Sean for the opportunity to rise in support of this resolution, and Brother Hill for allowing me to go first to speak on it. Uh, this resolution was originally sent to the governing board by the painters, and it was amended by the Board of Presidents. I know that many of the delegates have said to me, when are we going to talk about the carpenters? Well, here we go. As we all know, usually there is a tell in the audience that you speak to on when they want to, what they want to hear from you as their leader. Well, as Mark Ayers spoke on many, many fine accomplishments by the department, it wasn't until he said the magic word, carpenters, that he received his first standing ovation. He deserved many, many more. So, brothers and sisters, it's time we talk about what's on everybody's mind. There's not one general president that can be naive enough to think that our members are not looking for direction from us, their leaders, to a man that has single-handedly hurt what we all love as our building trades, both state, local, and national. We can no longer stand by and let this happen. And speaking to my peers, I know they're not afraid of a fight. I've been fighting this guy as GP for the last eight years. And he's not beaten us yet, and he doesn't scare me. But there's one statement that turns my stomach when I hear people say, don't underestimate him. Well, what I got to say is don't let them under underestimate our collective strength. We are the building trades, not his bogus comment in California where he said to the Cure Commission, we're like a mini building trades. We're the building trades, not him. As far as any, can anybody trust him? Ask Terry O'Sullivan if he does, or Bill Height, or Mike Sullivan, Pat Finley, or Jimmy Grogan. But ask our leader of the IBW, a true trade unionist, Ed Hill, what he said prior to 2009 about the carpenters, Ed's words, and I asked his permission to say this. Well, he hasn't bothered the IBW, but if he does, we will handle it. Well, all I can say is in St. Louis on June 15th of this year, on Local 57, if you haven't heard about it, shame on you. Well, can anybody think they are safe now, locally, or our state building trades? When daily he's doing electrical work, painter's work, hot roofs, tin roofs, plaster's work, or any of our, any of our work that he can. Let's not confuse Resolution 4 with a friendly carpenter or operator in your local building trades. It's not about them. Don't let anybody spin it that way. It's the leader's fault that they're not back, and they like it that way. This resolution is a start to see who is truly on our side. Don't let them divide us anymore. Thank you. And God bless the building trades.